The growing wave of consumerism helped in turn to create a stock market boom. And yet again, Edward Bernays became involved, promoting the novel idea that ordinary people should buy shares, borrowing money from banks he also represented. And yet again, millions followed his advice. Throughout the 1920s, speculators had borrowed billions of dollars. The banks had promoted the idea that this was a new era, where market crashes were a thing of the past. But they were wrong. What was about to happen was the biggest stock market crash in history. Investors had panicked and begun to sell in a blind, relentless fury that no reassurance by bankers or politicians could halt. And on the 29th of October, 1929, the market collapsed. The effect of the crash on the American economy was disastrous. Faced with recession and unemployment, millions of American workers stopped buying goods they didn't need. The consumer boom that Bernays had done so much to engineer disappeared, and he and the profession of public relations fell from favour. <laughs> 